Okay, so this is a USB Wi-Fi adapter. You either have one or you're looking to get one. If you're looking to get one, I have some recommended ones down in the description. They're not affiliated or sponsored. I just figured I'd throw those in there because I get a lot of people asking which ones I recommend. So if you have one of these and you're gonna wanna keep following the tutorial. So the issue you may be having is you're kind of having this stuttering that I'll demonstrate here. Now the clip is recorded in 30 FPS, which is my bad. I meant to do it in 60 FPS, but this clip's from a while ago and I have been trying to re replicate the issue, but I can't get it quite the same. So I have this demonstration of those hitches back there, but here's what it looks like after the fix. So you're getting like a constant stuttering. It's, it never really goes away. Um, I'll get more into that in a second, but um, so you may have seen this video that I uploaded uh, a couple years ago. It it's related to the same exact issue. So if you have a Wi-Fi adapter, um, it's basically how to fix the issue in Fortnite. But I'm going to show you how to fix it in pretty much any game that you may be having on. And this was actually uploaded like two years ago, so I figured it's time for an update. So the criteria is you need to have a USB Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, so if that's not what you have, then um, it, it looks like what I showed at the beginning you should have that plugged in your computer or your laptop or something like that so If you have one of those then I'd keep following the tutorial next one is you're, you're gonna need to have constant stuttering in certain games so um, I'll get more into the certain games in a second here um, You need to have this issue where I just demonstrated on that video where it's just constantly stuttering and there's non-stop hitches and you can't get any smooth gameplay and then the third criteria is that it's n you're not getting fps drops so you may be getting fps drops from something else but you're not getting fps drops when you're stuttering so like when the hitches happen there's no fps dip because if it was and that's a graphics or cpu or ram or hard drive ssd issue it could be anything else but it's not network related if it's an fps drop usually so a quick note is if you're having issues in every single game, this is what I was talking about with the certain games thing. If it's in every single game you play or when you're up, when you're loading videos or when you're doing something else online, it's just constantly laggy. Then it's more likely that it's your internet. That's the issue to be honest, um, unless it works on other computers. So if it works on another computer, just fine. But then this computer with the USB Wi-Fi adapter is having issues, then just keep following this tutorial. Um, but if you're, if you always have issues with your internet, then it's your internet and this, this isn't going to fix it. So, so let's talk about device drivers for a second. So a device driver is what lets a USB device or any other device that plugs in your computer interact with the operating system you're using. So in this case, I'm going to be demonstrating on windows. Um, and the driver is sort of like the middleman. So it tells Windows, how should I interpret this device? How should I use it? How does it fit in the operating system? Stuff like that. Okay, so I was just editing here and I realized that I forgot to explain something. So what I meant by this is that if this adapter is working in at least one game, then you know that it's most likely the not the adapter's problem because if it's at least working in one game, then that means the adapter itself seems to be working. But if it's not working in a different game, then that's most likely a communication error between the game itself and the adapter. Hopefully that makes sense. Now the problem is drivers are updated constantly. So they have tons of different versions and you may be on a an older version, a newer version or somewhere in the middle. So if you can think about a game like part of the operating system, so you can think about like all the games you play, Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, whatever it may be, then you can think of it as they're installing the operating system and therefore they're going to use this driver at some point, right? Especially if you're connecting to a multiplayer game, then you're definitely going to be using this, right? So the problem is this driver may work for Apex Legends, but it may not work for Fortnite. Maybe this driver works for Fortnite and this driver doesn't work for Apex Legends. You see the problem there? There's a, there's a difference between which driver works for which, right? Now the optimal solution would be, say, if a driver happened to work for both games you want to play, right? Now this doesn't exactly work all the time, so this is why this whole fix is a little finicky, but it's going to work eventually, hopefully. So here's the problem. If you can't get this, which means if you can't get one driver that works for most of your games, if not all, then you're going to have to at least, then you have a couple options, so you can either just switch drivers every single time you want to play a certain game and to whichever one works the best. Or you can just roll up all the way to the very most up-to-date driver and just hope for the best. Um, so 
here's the actual solution itself is you're just going to mess with the drivers you're going to update them roll them back change the versions until you get something that works okay so i'm going to show you how to do that right now okay so now that we're on the desktop itself we can go through with the solution here so you're going to want to start by making sure you don't have any kind of uh, Google Chrome or whatever you use you don't want that open because this is going to disconnect you from the internet for a little bit So just want to make sure they don't have anything important open or anything like that And then you're going to want to go over to the search bar and then type in device manager And then just click on that And then you're going to want to make sure that you're in the device manager and where it says network adapters You're going to open that and then you'll see that you have a few options here um the important one you're going to want to look at is the one that says wire something about wireless the wireless network or usb network adapter something like this mine looks like this yours probably looks similar or if not the same and then you're going to want to right click this and then click properties and then where it says driver you're going to want to click that tab and then as you can see mine's from realtek semiconductor corp that's what the current driver is from and then the date is july 18th 2019 right so the only option we're really going to want to look at here is where it says update driver. Even if you want to roll back to a previous driver date, you're still going to click the update driver because it brings up a better wizard for that kind of thing. And then see down here, you have two options and it says browse my computer for driver software. And that's what you're going to want to click right there. And then again, you're going to want to click this bottom option. And this one says, let me pick from a list. And you're going to want to click that. And then you're going to check this box that says show compatible hardware if it's not clicked already. And then, so you have all these different versions, basically, of drivers that are on your computer. And you can install whichever one works the best. Um, but the best one, most likely, is the one that says Microsoft next to, it. So, next to it. So you're gonna wanna start by doing that one. So click Microsoft and then click Next. Okay, so now that it's all installed, you're just gonna wanna click Close. And then, and then you can see real quick that it says Microsoft and then now it says October 25th, 2018. So it's um, earlier than the other one, but um, this one's produced from Microsoft itself, which probably means it came with like a Windows update or something like that. But then you wanna click close and you just close out of this. And then you can, um, after going back in your Wi-Fi and just connecting your Wi-Fi again, if you need to, um, all you need to do is just open up the game and see if it works. Now, if it doesn't work, it's just the same process. You're going to want to go in again, go to device manager. If I can spell device right. Good enough. Uh, device manager. And then you're going to want to do the same thing. So you're going to want to go in here, back where we were in the same tab, driver, update driver, go through this again. And then you're going to want to go through each and every one, I guess, is what you're going to really want to do. Because it, eventually one of these versions may work, may work for you. And if it doesn't, then you're just going to, want to click update driver and then search automatically and then i'll just bring you back to the most recent one for your specific usb device and at that point if not if nothing works then you're gonna to have to look for another solution so so that's pretty much all that it is um, i hope this helped you if it did let me know down in the comments or by liking the video so that when people click on the video they know that the solution actually works um, and yeah enjoy guys